Here we come. The inaugural NRLW side have arrived. Greeny and I initially sat down um, and sort of mapped out a bit of an idea of what we were looking for in, in terms of players. Um, and it was just a matter of, I guess, doing a lot of vision on, you know, the, we're lucky enough that we had vision from all of the Queensland. Um, we had a couple of New Zealand games uh, and lots of local talent as well. Uh, and it was just about, I guess, trying to find good people, good, tough uh, rugby league players that, that want to be better and, and ones that we can build a club around. Pretty tough sessions to start, um, straight into defence and um, into contact, which is a good start, I think. And the club's binding really well, the players are all coming together. And if you people told me you're the joker of the group, <laughs> um, yeah. is that what you try to bring for good box? Um, and you know, you've got to have that in the team, eh? Like it's not, you can't always be serious, but you've got to have a joker in the team just to um, break the ice sometimes when it gets a bit too serious and all the gear, just think about training. But um, if you have a joker in the team, then you bring the vibe. <laughs> I think that being in the inaugural year of the Newcastle Knights and um, the passionate fan base that they have here is really exciting and um, yeah, just that opportunity to run out finally for the NRLW, um, fingers crossed as a starting position um, would be an awesome opportunity but to do it with the other girls that haven't debuted before is really special and exciting so big year ahead for Women's Rugby League and um, hopefully play some consistent football. Yeah, I think we've got a really good squad, we've got a lot of international players. Uh, we've got a couple of former Origin players, so we, we've got a really good core group of players. Uh, and we've got some very young, ambitious, up and coming players that are ready to make a name for themselves. So uh, we're not sort of focusing on what other squads are put together and what other clubs because we're, we're really happy and, and proud of the one that we've got. So uh, I'm just pumped to get out there on day one uh, and see what we can come up with against Parramatta and um, hopefully put in a really good performance and, and make. make uh, I guess the, the, the fans um, you know, and the Newcastle people are proud of, of what is to come with Women's Rugby League. Meanwhile, away from training, the side ventured out to Yamalong for a very special day. Talk about the notion of language. Uh, in every country, language lives in situ, I mean, it's in the country. But it's about this relationship thing, it's about this leadership thing, it's about this, it's about this country that we want this place to be in. Led by the First Nation players, the side got together for a cultural engagement day to learn and share stories about their cultural background with an emphasis on connection. Today we're on country, we're on the, what we call land, um, we're here at Yamalong um, and we're having an official welcome. So. We're going to have a smoking to, um, you know, cleanse the girls. We're really excited to be here, you know, be officially welcomed onto the Awabakal land. you know, Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people to come together and learn, learn what culture is all about, what our identity actually means for us, I think it's really important. And, you know, having so many girls from different cultures, it's just awesome to finally get together and share this together. I find these kind of things really emotional because I'm quite cultural myself um, so yeah it's a very special day for us girls and I think it's really good um, as a team to learn these kinds of things about our sisters that are from here and you know what's special to them so then it can, can become special to us um, to unite as one team. 
I think it's culture and this is why I think this is such a significant um, day and um, important thing to do is to come and learn about the culture because we want to create a culture within our team where all the cultures come together, we unite as one because we are a team and to play footy we need to unite as one and play as a team. I don't feel that it's good to have a whole bunch of um, superstar people who can't play footy together so you know it doesn't matter who we are, if we all can just come together and unite as a family that's going to sort of reflect out onto our game and um, how we play together. If we united off the field I feel we'll unite on the field so yeah that's really important. You family members, you are the ones now. Take it on. Shine. Do not be afraid to shine.